Hello everybody, it's Mr Hulse. Uh, I've been asked to go through some Pythagoras and some trigonometry um, by some of the year 10s. So um, I thought I'd just make a very quick um, video. Again, these will be backed up with your online learning work, um, which will go into a little bit more detail with these. And you will have your sessions with me every Thursday as well, which um, again will, be, will supplement this. Uh, we'll start off with Pythagoras then. So as a rule, Pythagoras is always used when you know two sides to a right angle triangle and you need to determine what the third side is. So if we start off here and we use the, the general rule for Pythagoras which is a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Sometimes you need to rearrange this to, do, to find out one of the other sides, which involves subtracting rather than adding up. Um, so let's say this side is 2 and this side is 3, and I want to find out this side here, which is the hypotenuse, which is we'll call a in this case. All right. So it would be 2 squared plus 3 squared. So 2 squared, 2 times 2, which is 4. 3 squared, 3 times 3, which is 9. 9 plus 4 equals 13. So a squared equals 13. So a equals the square root of 13. Okay, put that on the calculator to hand. You express your answer as a third if, you, if you're in the same situation. So a equals the square root of 13, which will be a decimal, I'm pretty sure. Um, Okay, that's a simple one. What about if I already know these two sides now, and I need to find out this one, I'm going to call x this time. So again, this time we need to subtract these two numbers. So if I labelled these sides um, a, b and c, a squared equals b squared plus c squared. I'm going to have to make c squared the subject to this. c squared equals a squared minus b squared. a squared, 5 times 5, 25. b squared, 4 times 4 is 16, 25. Subtracted from 16 equals 9. So c equals the square root of 9, the square root of 9 is 3. Again, there's no units on here. If I'd said 5 centimetres, then I'd expect your answer to be 3 centimetres. Okay? Now, what about when we only know one of the sides, uh, but we also know the angle? Uh, of the triangle. So, not drawn to scale. <laughs> this is trigonometry now, by the way. So, I'm just going to call it trig, because I like to call it trig. So, first thing you've got to do um, is obviously give a value to one of the sides. There we go. Uh, is label the triangle, okay? So hypotenuse, adjacent, and opposite. The hypotenuse is always the longest side. The adjacent is always the side of the right angle and the angle on there. So that's your adjacent. And the opposite is the one you have left. Then you need to remember uh, soccer tour. Everybody has a way of remembering it. Um, mine is a historical way that my dad taught me, actually. Uh, silly old Hitler couldn't advance his troops over Africa. That just works for me. Silly old Hitler couldn't advance his troops over Africa. I just remembered it, never forgot it. Uh, Doing it in formula triangles, because I know some of you, um, you like to use it this way. It makes things a little bit easier for you. Then you need to look at what we have. So we have the opposite. So we know it's either going to be this or this. And we also have the angle 
and we need to find, sorry, I want you to find this length here, the hypotenuse. So it has to be this one. It's the only one with opposite and the hypotenuse in. Okay? If I cover H, because that's what I need to find, hypotenuse equals opposite divided by sine 23 degrees. Make sure your calculator is set into degree mode, which most of them are. If you, if you're doing, um, if you go on and do halo, you can set it into radians and all sorts of other things. But again, keep it simple, degrees. And the value for the opposite is going to be 6. So plug those into your calculator. 6 divided by 23 sine. And you will get the value for your hypotenuse. Again, I was asked for one more um, example where you need to find the angle if you're given two sides. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to make up some numbers. Nine and three. You need to find out what this angle is. Again, not drawn to scale. They usually put that on the exams anyway. Label your triangle, longest side is always the hypotenuse, thank you. Side with the right angle and the angle is your adjacent. And the other one is your opposite. Okay? So we've got opposite and adjacent, and we need to find out the angle. So straight away, opposite and adjacent, there we go. Okay, and I need to find out this. So tan, I'm going to use theta. This could be, it probably would be written like that actually, so let's keep it simple. Equals opposite, 3, divided by adjacent, which is 9. So you'd work out 3 divided by 9, whatever that works out at. Okay. Then, whatever number you get there, you have to invert tan. You have to take tan over. So it's going to be tan minus 1, 3 over 9. Okay? That will give you the angle in degrees. Okay? And what that is. Again, it's very useful um, building trade if you need to know... Um, you know, what angle you need to set a certain staircase at, or how, what size um, cutting you need to take. Anyone would think I've been doing some DIY. Um, very, very useful. Again, trigonometry, Pythagoras, um, all geometry really, is just a case of practice, practice, practice. You've got lots of examples, you've got lots of work for us to do, um, that hopefully will help you with this. Okay, so we'll look at uh, lots of other things. We'll be moving on to probabilities, tree diagrams. Um, yeah, um, and all, all this wonderful, fun stuff. Venn diagrams, oh, they're amazing. So we'll be moving on to all of this stuff coming up. Thank you.